I have discovered so many amazing products in the last couple of months and I am really excited to share them with you today. This is a completely unsponsored video. Let's go. The first product line that I want to talk about is the Better Not Younger brand. Dun, 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 dun. I have so many products from this brand and I love, oh God, I love these products so much. I love this brand for so many reasons and I'm so glad that I discovered them. This is a story behind it, okay? So the CEO of the company worked in the hair care space for Procter & Gamble and L'Oreal for 25 years and she noticed that women over 40 and 50 were either unrepresented or misrepresented in beauty advertising and I think we can all relate to that and we can all confirm that that is very, very, very true. Hair obviously changes over time and there were really no products specifically targeted to help women with these changes. But more than that though, she wanted to change the narrative behind aging. She wanted to help women feel better without necessarily needing to feel younger or making it seem like younger is the only goal. Okay, let's have a heart to heart moment right now. This is something that I am massively struggling with right now because a lot of the videos on my channel have that keyword, look younger. And the reason that I went down the slippery look younger slope is because those are the common keywords that are searched a lot um, in the SEO tools that I use to kind of know how to title videos to get a lot of reach. I know that that's something that people are searching for a lot. And because people are searching for it a lot and because it's a triggering keyword to a lot of people, people will click on the videos that I title with the words look younger. And that's why all of those videos on my channel are the ones that get the most amount of views. But it is like a message that I am so against sending because I don't think that youth is the only goal at all. I don't think you should have to look younger. I think you want to look better. The messaging is completely different than looking younger. And that's, you know, this messaging better, not younger. This like struck a chord with me for so many reasons. For one, the products themselves are great, but the messaging is important. So if you haven't tried this brand, definitely try it. You will not be disappointed. Moving right along. The next product I want to talk about is the City Beauty Hydration Mask. I really love using this when my skin feels dehydrated and tired. I picked up a cold from my five-year-old, so I'm a bit run down right now. You can probably hear it in my voice. And I'm also on my period, so my skin is like totally out of sorts. Whenever I'm feeling like that, a treatment mask really helps to kind of plump up the radiance and the volume in my skin. I really love this mask in particular because its intention is to be line smoothing and it has a serum in it that plumps the skin naturally. So it kind of plumps from within. It's just a very kind of cooling, relaxing experience. I put it on my face for 15 to 20 minutes and then I massage the serum into the skin. You don't actually have to rinse it off, which is awesome because it's also a great prep for makeup application. It's particularly good if you're going to an event and you have a little extra time to get ready for it. It's like one extra step that will help your skin look amazing. Product number three tackles under eye issues, which is one of the biggest issues that I personally have and maybe that you have too. One of the first things that we start noticing as we age are fine lines and darkness around our eyes. Dark circles are really hard to correct because if you have a lot of darkness, concealer alone will be able to hide it. So you need to use a color corrector before the concealer. But if you overdo it with products around the eyes, you get too much creasing and so then you need powder. But if you dry up under the eyes with powder, then it accentuates the wrinkles and you look older. It is so tricky to find that perfect formulation of color corrector that works but isn't too thick and concealer that doesn't crease but isn't too drying. Can you relate? I just discovered this cool product by the brand Color Science and it has to be my personal favorite under eye product right now. The cool thing about it is that it is a treatment product for dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles but it also has a mineral SPF of 35 and the best part of it is that it is tinted. So you can get it in fair, medium, tan, or deep and it's the perfect peachy tone to offset and balance depth. When I'm not wearing any makeup, this makes a huge difference to the brightness of my under eyes, but it's also the perfect priming product for use under a concealer. So I'm super happy that I discovered this guy. It is 
awesome. It's a game changer. Another product that creeps up as we reach our 40s, 50s, and beyond is foundation not making your skin look better anymore, but actually making your skin look worse, right? You can probably relate to that as well. In your 20s, foundation almost always looks great, no matter what formulation you choose, for the most part anyways. Like, it almost always looks good. As we get older, it can stop looking so good. So the goal with foundation, my goal, is always to infuse skin with luminosity and radiance for that like healthy glow, but you don't want it to look too oily or to crease in the fine lines. A foundation that I was using all the time on my mature clients that's very beloved in the mature age demographic is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. If you've been here for a while, I'm sure you've seen me use it on models before. I'm not saying that that isn't a good foundation. It is very good, but it is very wet. And sometimes I feel like it's a little too wet, especially on the skin types that aren't super dry and dehydrated. So after experimenting with so many different foundations on tons of different people, I found one that I think is phenomenal and it is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. And this foundation has a hydrating serum and vitamin B3 mixed into the formulation and it is gorgeous. It doesn't settle in fine lines and wrinkles. It provides a good amount of coverage without looking or feeling heavy and it's luminous without being wet or sparkly or shiny. Okay, so this is my favorite foundation right now. It's my favorite one. It's so affordable. And Age Perfect also has a radiant concealer. I also think this is an amazing concealer for under the eyes on a mature person. I've been using this combination on myself. I've noticed a huge difference, especially because I have quite a bit of, quite a few fine lines around my eyes. And I've also been using it on my mature clients, including like much more mature women like Jan, who I featured in a video, who's 78. I used this combo on her and it was flawless. Okay, so since we're on this face bandwagon, let's talk about setting powders. Setting powders are necessary for almost everyone because they do set wet products and prevent them from creasing. But the issue is that when we get a little older, setting powders can accentuate wrinkles a lot. I found a great setting powder that is dirt cheap and it is the e.l.f. HD powder. This powder has such a fine consistency that it basically melts and disappears into the skin while also setting wet products and leaving a flawless kind of velvety overall finish. This is the powder that I've been using under my eyes lately because I was using the L'Oreal one before that I used to love. I previously loved it. I used it when I was younger, but I noticed that it started making my eyes look really crepey, especially as the day went on. So because this is so fine. It does help my concealer not crease, but without over drying it too quickly. Another thing you can do with this powder is press it into the areas of the face that produce more oil, which for most people is in the T-zone, and it works really well for controlling that as well. I can't believe that this is so cheap. It's a 10 out of 10 product for me, and if you look on Amazon, the reviews from like other people are super positive as well. So sometimes I like to, to do that because I'm like, is it just me that's obsessed with this like $6 powder and in this case, it's not just me. A lot of people love it. Like I can't believe how inexpensive and how amazing it really is. The next product I wanna talk about is the NYX Highlight and Contour Stick. Again, really inexpensive and it works amazingly well. We all have things, right? We all have things about our face that we don't necessarily love and that we feel could use a little camouflage. So for some people, that may be like a little bump on the nose or a little extra weight around the neck. That's very common. Contouring your face is a great way to put that flaw back into the shadow, literally. That's what it does. <laughs> it recedes it back. It just puts it in the shadow so that the other things that you like about yourself can come forward. But the only thing is that contouring and highlighting can be very intimidating for some people, especially people that are very natural makeup wearers. It feels unachievable, right? The reason that I fell in love with this product is because it comes in a bunch of different colors, but the colors are intuitive. So I have all of them here. I actually just bought all of them brand new for my kit. Like that is how much I love them and I wanna use them on, on all of my clients. These are pretty intuitive. You can look at it and you'll know pretty much immediately which, which one you fall into. So I love that. I also love that it is a stick. It's super easy to use. You can look at your face, you can see what you wanna recede and you can draw lines. And then from there, you can use like a tapered brush and you can shade it or you can use a wet beauty blender, like a damp beauty blender and you can stipple it into the face. It blends like 
butter. It is such a beautiful blendable formula and it's very, very good for beginners. The next product that is mind blowingly good is the Plumping Lip Gloss by City Lips. This is made by City Beauty. I'm a big fan of City Beauty products. This particular product, City Lips, went viral online a few years ago because it's so effective, okay? So what it does is it visibly enhances your lip volume in 10 minutes. So I put it on half my lips earlier today to show you the difference. At first, the lips become a little bit tingly and flush, so they turn like a really pretty pinky color, and then they plump up. It's not a discomfort lip plump. It's not like stinging or burning or drying your lips or like really intense. It's a very subtle feeling, but you will feel it if you put it on clean, dry lips. And as you can see from the one side that is plump and the other side that isn't, there is quite a visible difference. I have really full lips, so the before and after isn't as dramatic as it is on a woman with fine lips, especially mature women with lines and wrinkles around their lips and thin lips. I love these. I love these so much. I have every single color in my kit. and. You can't go wrong with it. Everyone loves them. Every client I use loves them. It's a good product to have for sure in your makeup kit. Okay, let's move on to talk a little bit about hair now. I want to talk about thermal protection spray. I get questions all the time in my comment section about what thermal protection spray I recommend and I have a really hard time with this because I have not found many that I like. I find a lot of thermal protection sprays leave a weird residue on the hair and I really like hair that it's like fluffy and movable. I don't like hard hair. I never have, and I'm a bridal stylist, even on my bridal clients when they're like, use more hairspray, I'm like, why? I know you don't want things to drop, but you also don't want things to look like sticky or like the 90s with those like really weird kind of crunchy curls, like you don't want that. And I find that thermal sprays do that and I find that really outdated, okay? So I've kind of dodged the thermal spray question forever because there hasn't been many that I really like until this one. I love Adore products. I especially love the thermal protection spray though. This is the only thermal protection spray that I use on myself every single time I do my hair. The cool thing about it is that it's the mist is really See that? It's a very fine mist and it does not leave any residue whatsoever on the hair. It's very effective and it works, but it doesn't leave residue. I use this, I spray this on my hair before I blow out my hair every single time I wash it. But then if I'm also gonna go in with like a crimper or a curling iron or anything like that, I spray this on my dry hair as well. And it doesn't like wet my hair too much. It just mists it with that heat protection and then away you go. I don't get like any weird residue. Could not recommend this more. This is a great product. And finally, we have to mention the hot tool that is my favorite hot tool of all time I literally could not live without this and I'm sure you know what it is if you've been here for a while it's a blowout brush if you have frizzy hair textured hair that you want to smooth out fine hair that you can't get volume in any type of hair really your hair will look amazing if you blow it out it really will and I'm sure you know that because it probably looks awesome after your hairstylist does it blowing your hair out yourself is super, super hard to do. The coordination of it just isn't easy. Even for me as a hairstylist, when I'm trying to hold a round brush and a blow dryer, it's like I have two left hands. It's tricky, right? It just is. A blowout brush is a blow dryer inside a round brush. It does everything that a traditional blowout does, but with less effort, way less effort. The one that I love is by Tymo. I find it to be like a good quality brush at a very reasonable price point and it makes my hair look incredible. Every single time I wash my hair, I blow it out with this Tymo brush and it makes all my other hairstyles look great. It makes my curls look great. It makes my updies look great. It makes my ponytails look great. It makes everything look great because it gives me like tons of smoothness and tons of volume. I think that's the key, that's it.